Um, everything that we took apart so far looks in pretty decent condition. A lot better than the cars that come in here previously. <laughs> uh, overall, the body's very clean. Um, no real surprises. I mean, we'll learn more once the uh, sandblast operation happens, but right now it's looking pretty good. What the heck is this mess? This is um, new employee training. <laughs> we have Tom, who's been working for us for a couple months, and we have Lindsay, who's uh, you know volunteered to help once in a while, but she actually wants to get paid. So this is one of those jobs where you, you know, this is the grunt work. We are um, scraping the undercoating off of of uh, the 1969 Firebird, and some of the pa uh, spots have previously been patched and there was a thinner type of undercoating sprayed on it, so that's coming off pretty easily. Other parts is, I think, original from 69, so uh, we're using these propane torches and just scrapers, and by tomorrow we won't be able to move our hands. Well, what happens next? What happens next is uh, we're gonna take it to the sandblaster to blast just the bottom floor and the inside. Um, body work was already previously done on this car, and we don't think we need to disturb it but um, we do want to paint the, the floor and find if there's any pinholes or where some patches were made. So we're going to um, have that sandblasted hopefully tomorrow. Is this safe? Um, yes, if you know how to hold a propane torch away from your face and your fingers. Don't give it to a child. Eye protection. It's not like anything flies up in your face, so I'm not doing eye protection today. Oh, no. <laughs> I do have gloves on, though. Uh, let's have, tell everybody, if you do this, you should have eye protection on. You think? Yeah. I will say you definitely need a well-ventilated area. Yeah, you're good. And, and be careful because scrapers are sharp and you're playing with fire. And you should wear glasses. I guess so, but Just I'm not getting it. anything in my face. Wear glasses. Okay. <laughs>